And if you want to look how thick these steels are, they are. I think they're about 35 mil thick gauge. Try, come on, Luke. Come on. I put my hand down first. Three, two, one. <laughs> 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 Do you want your brew? Monday morning, over in Worsley. Can I do a construction today? Coffee. Monday morning, and we're back over on site. Uh, this week we're going to be installing some major steels. So, all the steels are on site, which arrived last week on Friday. Um, let me spin this camera around to show you all these steels that we've got to put in this week. So as you can see, we've got quite a chunk of steel, steels there to go in. Uh, I think it's about four, over, over four tonnes worth. But before we start installing all this, we've had, we've, we've had to prop all the brickwork and we're starting all the prep work by dropping it all and getting everything ready so we get these steels into place. So as you can see now here, we've got all the acros and strong boys propped in. Um, we've, got, we've started to prop the inside skin, we're going to drop the out, we've started to drop the outside brickwork. We're having a good tidy up here now so we can set more trestles up. We've got a prop just inside that bay there and take them patio doors out. And then um, we're going to get the big steel in, which weighs 1.8 tonne and then there's a couple of other steels that come off that which we'll go, go through uh, further on in the video. So I'm just going to set up my time lapse here now, start dropping all this brickwork and uh, when we start moving the steels around we'll start talking a bit more what I'm doing. So if you want to look how thick these steels are, they are. I think they're about 35 mil thick gauge. So they, these are really really heavy so we've got a couple of genies. Uh, when we need to move these we're going to call a few of the lads around from all the other jobs, get these pulled into position and uh, we'll, we'll get the genie lifts in. We're going to have about three or four genie lifts to get these in. I'm not sure if I'm going to bolt it up on the ground and centre put it on it or bolt it up in pieces in the air. But I'll decide that later on when we after we've got all the knock through done um, and we're ready to install these. But yeah, there's quite a lot of quite a bit of work to go on here. There's a bit of decent work to go out as well. It'll look, it'll look really good when these all go in. Don't have to prove anything to anyone, Lee. I said I'd get rid of it and I will. So that is us done for today. We got everything on this back section propped, fully dropped. We're gonna get our internal wall out in the morning, this one that's just there in the middle. Where we've got some of that two steels to go out and then there's an inter there's another steel that will take up this existing gable end which i'll get that in after i've got these two in but we've put in an extra few acros and strong boys for tonight uh just to make sure everything's safe and propped uh, soundly and securely and yeah we are back here tomorrow but as you can see we've got all the brickwork out there where there's another column going um we've got us just the, the, there's a strong boy there one there and one there which if we're going to take them out and put them on the other side like just like this just so we've got a bit of room because the steel is a 305 by 305 and um, so we can get it in because we'll have, uh, with like the nose part that comes off the uh, i don't know what you call that part there that comes off the strong boy that'll probably catch you so we can't leave them there they'll need moving 
But other than that, we've had a good tidy up. Secured all the house up and we're back here tomorrow. So we're going to be... Me, Lee and Luke will be tackling this. these two steels. We've got a couple, a couple of the other lights coming over. We're going to rip all these old four bolts, replace these with weather bolts. We've got a solid surface to work on. And then we're going to get this existing roof off. Get a, um, start getting a bit of brickwork up to chamber and then this is going to start looking at getting a chamber floor put in ready for a double so it's plenty to go out this week absolutely loads so we've got the ceiling prop now both sides as you can see we've got it on the other side as well uh, there's a floor joist go, both go that way so it's on this wall so that's all prop, propped and secured we've done a, a nice buzz cut up there so we've got a nice clean line to where the wall's finishing and we're just going to literally pull all, drop all this wall, um, take the radiators out, rip the skirt out, completely clean this open area, and then we're ready to start installing steels. So I'm going to set the time out, look, time lapse up, get this done, and uh, yeah, we'll go through the steels when we start installing them. Again, I've got the weight, yeah? One more big push. And again, three. Close. 
Right, one steal, in. Second steal. Two pieces of steel bolted in and bolted up. Wayne's just doing a little bit of patching to secure it. Um, then we're going to drop onto the final column and the final piece of steel, get all that bolted up, make sure everything's secure. Then we're going to move on to the, the two internal steels. piece of steel in, column in, we just basically go around making sure every every nut and bolt and wash is on, all tightened up, we're literally now, Wayne's just going to knock a pocket out here, we're going to get this internal steel straight in, packed straight to the floor joist, a couple of back rolls to get in so we can loosen, free up some of these acros for the, the sidewall tomorrow, and then we're going to look at uh, patching all that in tomorrow, and we're up to getting the pad stone in here, so we're flying, bit of an hard day but now we've got there, this is a beast of steel. Do we shoot a wrap up for the day or are we just going for fresh start? Now where we're just going to get this nice big five-fold steel in. 
Uh, we're going to get out here and then we just left this little baby. Three, two, one, two, three. Lift him up down, yeah. Just slide him down and leave it. Two, one. Two. Steel down. Another steel down. Down. Hell, One steel to go. So, that is us done. Uh, all the steels are complete on this job this week. It's been, to be honest, it has been a bit of a tough one, this one. Um, the steels, was probably over, I reckon it was probably over four or five tons worth of steel. There was two tons in just one of the, in the, in the big, the big I-beam with the splices. There's two tons in that alone. Um, I'm gonna show you how, how we have got on now. I'm just gonna turn the camera around. So as you can see now, bifold steel in, all installed. Ready for the brickies, <clears throat> column A frame, all the steel in, two connection details all bolted together. I am going to get these welded on Monday by the welder, another column in. I've just left these acros in so the motor does give it a little bit more of a settle and I uh, can take them out probably Monday, Tuesday. Um, I've got this internal steel in. Just got to put a pad stone there. There's a bit of a nib to drop there, but I'm not I'm not too fussed at that at the moment. Pad stone there, a bit of a patch there, because we've got to be able to break into the stairwell. We've got a patch going above all this copper pipe in here, which looks horrendous. That all these patching, slating, slating up so it's nice and tight. And then we've got a nice internal steel here, coming up, um, which is connected to the, the big steel. And then we've got, um, as you can see, all the existing floor is, is sat on it. Um, then that's all bolted in. Got a pad stone to put here. Bit of patching. There's a doorway on the opposite side, which does need bricking up and, or blocking up. Then that's that section complete. And then next week we will be on with putting the chamber floor in, which we're gonna have to rip all this seal this roof off, get the uh, get the floor in, and then we can just crack on getting this this job up, this job up up to wall plate, uh, roof on. Hopefully everything they fell through the floorboards. But yeah, that's us done. I think it looks a nice, tidy, clean job now. We've left it for the customer over the weekend. So, if you like what you see, guys, and uh, you want to see future content, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And uh, I'll see you all next week when we are putting a chamber floor in and getting the brickwork up to wall plate. So, I'll see you all next week. Bye.